Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and we are out on the Timber Bridge project today. Now it is pretty chilly this morning. The sun's starting to hit that ridge coming up behind us. And it's supposed to get up to 70 degrees today and only come down to the mid 40s tonight, which means we're gonna try to get a coat of stain on the bridge deck on the bridge. Kind of redundant, but that's what we're doing. We've got the trail cam up on this tree right here. We're gonna check that footage later on in the video. See if we've had any critters crossing the bridge. And if time permits, just because the weather's so nice, we still need a second coat of paint on the bell tower project. If you haven't seen that yet, then stay tuned to later in the video. I'm hoping we can get up there and get a second coat of paint on that bell tower and have all this stuff knocked out for the winter time. Obviously, we've got some cleaning and stuff to do, but we also have a little bit of bark left on these trees. We need to get that scraped off and cleaned up as well. We just, we got a little bit of work to do. And a pretty day to do it. Let's get started. Now, I only plan on staining the actual deck of the bridge. Now, of course, next summer we'll come back after everything soaks in and we'll end up staining the entire thing, the bottom side, the logs, and everything. The main reason I want to go ahead and get the deck done is you can see it's going to collect leaves over the fall. And even when I come down and rake them off, it's still going to be kind of holding some moisture on there. And if we get any snow, the snow will sit on there and, and collect moisture on the wood as well. So I want to try to get the bridge deck as protected as possible. But the major reason we need to go ahead and get these logs debarked, when you leave that bark on the tree, it does two things. It gives a place for insects to hide, and it gives a place for moisture co to collect. So it's going to accelerate the rot of that log. So if you can get the bark off there, you'll get longer lifespan out of it. And the other reason is, before I stain the actual larger logs on the outside, because they have a higher moisture content, because obviously the larger diameter, it's going to take longer for them to actually dry out. I don't want to seal these up with a lot of moisture on the inside. So I need to get that bark off there to help those dry out over the winter as well. That way when it is time to restain the deck next summer, we'll be good to go and go ahead and get these logs stained as well. You can tell in these first few, in first few clips of the words today, they're hard every day. What am I talking about? First few clips, my draw knife, it was a gift from Sassafras Valley Woodworking, and that hatchet, which I got from Bespoke Post. They're both pretty dull. I've been using them quite a bit. So we're gonna run up to the shop here in just a second and touch them up a little bit. I don't really have a fancy way to sharpen these tools up. A bench grinder would probably be the best bet. But we'll end up just using a hand file and that'll work fine for what we're doing. Maybe I can add a bench grinder to the shop one day. I know a lot of you are making the comment right now and trust me, as I'm sitting there on that ladder, you can see a little bit of exhaustion. Yes, it would have been way easier to get these things debarked there on the ground before I put them into the bridge form. But to be honest, I was just so excited to actually see if my little homemade log winch could actually pull these logs across. And if I could actually get the shape I wanted, that I kind of sped up the process and didn't take the time to debark them first. Yes, of course it would have been easier to do, but we are where we are and that's where we're gonna be. I got the blade pretty sharp. I touched up the backside just a little bit. There's a couple times where I hit some hard knots and it made a little bit of a divot in the blade. And I wanted to take that down just a little bit on the backside. But we'll go back down there, try it with some sharpened blades. Side note, kind of exciting thing for the uh, homestead. We finally got the dog to start riding with us on the side by side. We've been trying all summer. I gotta get, I gotta get, there, nope, you're just, there you go, that's fine. Okay. And she's finally gotten comfortable with it. There were a few screws that I ran out of last time, these eight inch screws I ran down from these running boards down into that log below. Figured I'd go ahead and put those in while I'm here. Use a little bit of soap to lube them up. And the wall impact to drive them in. Those are eight inch screws. And later in the video, you're gonna see, I actually had some six inch screws left over as well from another project. And I went ahead and ran some six inch screws in as well because like I keep getting in the comments, the bridge is fairly overbuilt. So let's just keep with that trend.
So we got this side debarked. I'm telling you what, going up and taking the time and sharpening this hatchet back up, uh, that was a huge time saver. Same with that. I need to touch that one up even better, but this one, having a little bit better edge, we were able to get right under that bark. And you saw it peeled off fairly easily, way easier than it was when I first started. As far as these little guys, well, when it dries out, which is not today, this is a no burn day, 100% guarantee on that. When it dries out, we'll bring the rosebud down here the little weed burner. We'll just burn those little burrs right off and that'll be fine. This side's all knocked out as well. It looks really good. There's a lot of work to get that bark off there, but I'm sure voiceover Mike had y'all taken care of on that and they had the process explained to why we do it. The next thing, let's go get the broom. I got a little scrub brush. We'll get everything cleaned up. Let's see if we can get some stain on this thing. I cannot wait to see how this is going to look. Now I got this little brush here, fairly coarse to try to get the more stubborn stuff. And then we'll sweep it one more time. Hopefully we'll be good to go. Now, there are definitely faster ways to do this. You know, leaf blower for one, and we do have one thanks to an awesome subscriber, Keith L., who sent one in months ago, and we do use it every now and then. And, of course, I could get a pump sprayer and spray the stain out and then kind of back roll it, but honestly, it's just the last nice day we're going to have this year as far as anything being in the 70s and sunny like this. I just kind of want to be out there in the woods, enjoy the project, and just kind of take it in. I did use a little hand brush and stain down the, side of the sides of these here, down the edges, and try to kind of tuck underneath the best I could. Any place where water might try to sit, just try to get up to the edges. As much protection as we can get on it, really. But you can see, leaves are falling, sun's shining. Really not any other place I wanted to be at that moment in time. I didn't really mind taking my time with it. There's just no way this GoPro is going to do this thing justice. I can balance beam my way across this one here. So far, so good. Oh, right, yeah, we got it. We do have the trail cam set up still, and still we don't have any video of any critters crossing the bridge. So far, it's just me checking the trail cam at 3 o'clock in the morning because, well, I don't know. Why the heck wouldn't you? 
get this turned back on. Welcome. Well, you gotta go. There's gonna be a few shots, that's okay. I just can't stop staring at it. So I got just a little bit of time left in the day. I gotta run to town and do the super exciting thing of paying property taxes today, and I'm just thrilled. Before I do that, I should have enough time. We'll go get a second coat of paint up on the bell tower real fast and get these two things knocked out. So you notice we only sealed the deck boards. One, well, that's all I've got the money for right now. Just one coat of stain on there. The other thing, we didn't do the, the side sections, the two arches, or the logs on the bottom side, or anything on the bottom for that matter. And there's a good reason for that. I still want to leave this timber out in the air so that the heavier timbers, the bigger pieces of timber can still air dry as far as the moisture content of the log goes. I want it to dry just a little bit more. If you seal it all in like that, that moisture can never get out of there. I went to get my moisture meter from the barn and it's Wasp City. I don't know what's going on, but it's not worth it. I'll tell you that. I'll do it another day, I promise you, and we'll keep you updated. As far as the boards go, they're thin enough. They've been out in the air. One coat of sealer on the top shouldn't do any damage. They're still open on the bottom, so that moisture can still kind of get out into the air. We'll let that soak in during the winter. Next spring, we'll come along, and we'll do it again and really get it covered good. But this is... <laughs> so the next step on this bridge is making trail on the other side of it. I got a little bit of a plan. People keep asking about the approach on the other side. I'm just going to put some gravel in the back of the side-by-side back across and dump it it's got a handy dandy dump bed on it kind of neat we'll get it built up enough that i can get the tractor rolled off that end then we'll just kind of push some material down to it easy peasy i'm sure it'll go just that smooth let's go paint a 1916 bell tower that used to be the bell tower my grandma went to elementary school at because that's something people do that's something we do So if you are unfamiliar, this is a 1916 bell tower. It is from Hebron Elementary School in Evansville, Indiana. Taken down in 1982. And just so happens, it came off the elementary school that my grandma actually went to, which is kind of a fun little connection. How you doing, Pop? You hear me down here? Came to scope it out. Here's how the pond's doing. It's filling up great. See the road cone over there? Every time we get a little rain, we slide the road cone up with the level of the water. And every time we do that, it uh, does not drop. So that's good. That means it's holding water fairly well. We're supposed to get some more rain later this week, so I'll keep you updated. Anyway, you, they're everywhere today. Mm, there's a lot of yous. Well, it's the last warm day. We got to get it done. We're just, it's gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get stung. There's no way we're not. There's no way we're not getting stung today. These purdy rollers always do seem to do a good job. Not a sponsorship, just my advice. Not even advice. It's just. Oh yeah, we're just gonna roll the trim. Yep. Sure. Try to roll these louvers too. Not much of a roll, still a little bit of a brushing action, but
As long as you don't mess with them, they won't mess with you, right? That's what they say. That's what they say. Don't mess with them. Those are your best friends. Invite them to your birthday party. No, no, no. Oh. I'm telling you, I just... Didn't even get stung. Two coats of paint. The only thing that doesn't have two coats is this board right here and that top piece of trim. I didn't feel like getting up on a ladder and cutting that in. Plus, I'm out of paint, which is fine. Everything's pretty much got two coats. The louvers do, the posts do, everything. And I'm happy with it. Keep in mind, we still have to incorporate it with the shelter house next spring or next summer. So as far as this year goes, done, off the list. It'll sit here. We may come down this winter and enjoy it a couple times. I don't know. Maybe a little, little campfire right there overlooking the pond. Hard to tell, really, but we might do that. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, this one's done and off the list until next spring whenever we put the uh, whenever we put the shelter house over here and we'll incorporate it with that. That's pretty exciting. Pond's looking good. Grass came in amazing coming over we did get the septic system in in case you missed that we got the septic system installed for the youtube yacht which is right up through there and this is the youtube yacht overgrown i am aware terrible really let her get away from me anyway it is a steamboat shaped and themed rental cabin that we are building there's going to be paddle wheel and everything in the back main level wheelhouse bedroom all that fun stuff from the port side and if you look you can see the pond right down through the trees there so the timber bridge until next spring when it's warm enough again to stain and we put the second coat of stain on it she's done crossed off the list it'll be onto the trail on the other side but before we do that i have to fabricate up an implement for the tractor to build the trail on the other side so that'll be coming as well as far as the bell tower goes it's got its second coat of paint on it it's gonna sit there looking good looking the pond over until next spring when we build the shelter house and find a way to incorporate that in the shelter house so that's done crossed off the list this behind me as soon as we get our youtube revenue at the end of november we'll be pouring the concrete floor in the youtube yacht so that's coming up i know tomorrow i'm working for mike i know i've been doing a bunch of milling so there'll definitely be a milling video coming up and the milling is for a goat barn chass slash chicken coop so that build will be coming up as well a few things knocked off the list today which opens up the book for a few more things to start i'm pretty excited probably a little bit shorter video than normal today but it's just the last nice day it is supposed to rain in a couple days and it will officially be early winter cold and wet and it won't dry out again until the spring or until it freezes so i just uh i was kind of focusing on the moment and not as much on the camera today but i think you guys understand that that's enough we're good right we're settled you guys are content okay all right i appreciate you guys watching i truly mean that oh by the way Chelsea has some new videos out on her channel from our family trip down to Gatlinburg. Her channel is Wild Roots. Link in the description, info card. Go check those out if you want something else to watch. That's it. Now we're done. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.